felt it in my gut as I saw you running away. I should have listened to it. I'm sorry. I'm okay. <clears throat> it's healed mostly. Even had the bathhouse girls look at it for a bit. Nice and clean. I'm more worried about you, though. You looked pretty banged up. I guess this is payback from me getting hurt, isn't it? Sorry. It's okay. I'm just glad you're okay. I don't have many people like you left, so... Have you eaten yet? There's some soup over there if you want it. <sighs> if you said no to that, I would have been worried. Eat it slowly. <clears throat> Careful. I don't normally see you without your, uh, mask on. Slowly, Lisa. Careful. <laughs> well, you can't be that hurt, I guess.
seen you without your, well, usual garb on reminds me of the old times, you know. get to before you go to the grove. You were trying to lead her away, weren't you? We'll figure out a way to deal with her. It. Everyone keeps referring to it as her and I... Sometimes forget. We'll figure it out, okay? We'll do with whatever this fucking thing is that's wearing her face. We'll make it pay. I'll make it pay. It's not her anymore. You understand that, right? Take it easy.
I'll do what I can to get you that opening. I'll let you have that shot. Chat, roll a what, uh, D20. I'll always protect you, Lisa. I'll always keep you safe. As best as I can. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. Like I said, there aren't many people like you left. I know I don't have to be, but I will be. I'm so tired of letting people I care about slip away from me. I don't know what I would do if it happened to you as well. So let me protect you too, okay? I don't want you in danger at all. But I know I can't restrain you from it. Then, if you let me look after you, 
I'll let you look after me. Deal. Take it easy. You're getting better at speaking. That makes me happy. Just don't overdo yourself, okay? Actually... How about I show you something to make it easier? It has to be a secret, though. Okay. With, um... Certain things that I've had to do in the past with certain people. Sometimes you have to communicate without other people knowing that you're communicating. <clears throat> A universal language was developed for people like me and other criminals and smugglers and killers and things like that. It originated as leaving markings in chalk around the city to tell people that knew what to look for. You know, if a house is locked, if they have a guard dog, if, you know, there's usual patrols of guards in the area. And then it evolved into a language that you could communicate without even speaking. The unspoken language, that's what they call it. In common tongue, it's Thieves' Cant. Eventually, it also found a way that it can be communicated just with the hands. No voice. If you'd like, I could teach you some things. So that we could communicate without you having to hurt your voice. Does that sound good? Okay. But you'd have to keep it a secret. You're not meant to go around, you know, <clears throat> telling it to everyone. Fair enough. I, uh, won't start today, given your condition, but maybe we can make it a daily or bi-daily thing. I could come and teach you a couple things. Eventually you'll get fluent. It's quite intuitive. I think it would make talking between you and I easier. I can't believe I hadn't thought of it till now. Can you read? It'll have to be verbal then. We'll work on that together, okay?
glad you're okay. Can I tell you something kind of weird? <sighs> it's gonna sound crazy. Uh, probably because it is. Right. Yeah, I suppose it's no more crazy than the shit that you deal with on a daily basis. <clears throat> um... How do I say this? I... see and hear Tarek sometimes. And Cat. They're not, like... I know they're not here, but they're, I see them and talk to them sometimes, if that makes sense. I, I don't know if it's memories replaying in my head. Sometimes I wake up and I don't know where I am. I look around and I'm back in Aunt's house at Ledford. And Faye is completely different and you're wearing different clothes and Tarek is there and Kat is there. And then I blink and it's all back to normal. I don't know who else to tell. I don't want people to think I'm going mad, even though I might be. <sighs> maybe just... <laughs> maybe my mind's just fracturing. I don't know yet. But, um... There's that. <laughs> Just... It's happened to me. There. Really? Race. Wounds from the past, perhaps. I know it's m not real, but part of me doesn't want to let it go. No. That's why I was asking Faye about Goldrick earlier. <sighs> he appeared to me and I, I thought it was just in my head again, but... And then she said it is real. And then I thought, maybe they were too. And I got my hopes up. And then she said it was only for really powerful mages. So. 
Anyway, um... Yeah. Sorry to kind of dump that on you like that. I don't... I don't tell a lot of people what's going on. I, I try not to. Because I need people to believe that I'm strong. I need Arn to feel like he's not throwing away his fucking bloodline. I need... I need you to think that I can protect you. So I don't tell anyone anything. It's so hard to shoulder it all. Understand. I'll try to be around more, okay? Be fortunate. Eat it like yours. Into another dagger. Anything in particular? Like. Yours. Hmm. It's a bit bigger. I'll have to add some material to it. It'll be a bit heavier to what you're used to. Yeah, feel. But, you'll be able to do a bit more damage with that. Not as low profile, though. That one belonged to the person that ruined my life. Someone I called a best friend once. Betrayed me. The reason I left Gradio. Well, I got my hands on him, and it 
It's mine now. So, I'll make you something like that. I'll make it special. It'll be yours. Sound good? I can make it a little smaller. I can do that. I will forge a dagger worthy to be wielded by you. I'll let you rest. I have to go check on some things, okay? If you need me, send for me. Alright. No more running in the woods alone for you. Just so that I'm aware of the materials, it is a iron dagger, right? Understood. Lisa. There's a saying in Thieves' Cant. <clears throat> it's a mix of good luck and goodbye and look after yourself and all of that. means until the next night finds us. That's your first lesson. See you soon, okay? Never mind, my controller's dead. Oh, well. I'll just say it. She would have done a hand sign similar to what you did. Only. When the hand went out, instead of doing that, we did a circle, and then she would have brought her hands close together. Doing the symbol for family. And for her. Means you will see each other again. There is no goodbye in that. Huh. I get what you mean. I like it. I'll keep it. Rest up. I'll see you soon. was difficult. How is she? She could be a lot worse. But shouldn't have happened to her in the first place, you know.
Tyler. Thank you for keeping your word to me. I try to every day. You feel like putting your money where your mouth is. There he is, safe and sound, in his habitat, thriving, nourished. I wouldn't say that. Never mind, what's, uh, what's wrong? Uh, just difficult conversations and such, you know how it is. <sighs> hmm. We need to talk about it. Wounds from the past, that's all. You know how it is. Yeah. Your dad's standing outside the clinic. Do you know why? Is he okay? I have no idea. Should probably go check You're on being him. being weird. <laughs> <sighs> him and that blonde because... man from uh, before. It's because Mirandel was escorted into the clinic by two Imperials, that's why. Is he hurt? No, not from what I could see. You didn't see or hear anything? Of him being injured? Nope. Or he like, why right they took him? Me. Hmm. So a normal escort, and why are they... Oh, did they move finally? Maybe he went in. 
I don't want to exacerbate the situation. Okay. Might wait out here. I guess we can wait. How are you holding up? Um... Could be better. <laughs> <sighs> what about you? Other than the difficult conversations. Honestly, I'm keeping it together daily. Yeah. Oh, did you get what should time? we do? The only thing that helps doesn't end up really helping us. Though, there is one thing that I haven't tried yet. I don't think it would have any bad side effects from what I know. It's not Serenity. I showed you it outside. That drought of some type. Dreamer's drought or something. Maybe it can help. I don't know. I'm hesitant to turn to any sort of substance after, you know, personally, at least. Yeah. I do need to find Marcus, though. Why? need a, uh, put an order in for blacksmith stuff. Mm. Does he still build things? Hmm. Works with stone and wood. Wonder if he can make flower beds. <clears throat> flower beds? <laughs> we can go ask if you want. Um, that would be nice, yes. I want to put them outside of uh, a friend's home. Okay. Do I have to come with you? <laughs> I'll ask. Oh. You can stay here. Come and get me if you need me. I'm not his biggest fan. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, they were bows. I saw my best speaker up. I was using some of the uh, some of the best tools in the Don't worry. Definitely deadly in the hands of the right. Fuck did she go? Fucking kidding me. <laughs> is around. <laughs> Straight up. Up oh, there he is. You need to put an order in with you, if that's okay. Sure. Did I hear something across town? Um, what's up? Um, I need a small weapon handle made. Built thing. Uh, sure. Sure. You think you could do something a little special for it? Might be able to. Sure. Yeah, just make it a little more ornate than usual, yeah? <laughs> okay, any particular style? How are you with carving? Like, detailed carving? Uh, it wouldn't be me, it would be Miss uh, Marga, the dwarf. She's a carpenter. If you wanted something special, she can engrave it. Uh, let me see. How much that would run here? You can, if you get it engraved, you can get whatever you want. Hmm. Okay, um, I I swear I could I heard a commotion down the main road. I don't know what that is, but mm. um, I could do fifty copper mm -hmm. for a nice engraved uh, small wooden haft. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll think about what I want engraved. Sure. I will write it on a piece of paper and leave it here for you to. But also, to, you know, keep that because I want to put in an order with you. Okay, I'll need it tomorrow, and I think you could do it within two days. A nice, good old dagger. As a sidearm. Okay. Nice, good old dagger. Either iron or steel, whatever, whatever works for you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Dredge got one in today. We might be able to refurbish mm -hmm. that. Could be a little cheaper. Sure. What's the damage? For you? Mm-hmm. And we'll put that 50 towards it. We'll call it uh, two silver. I meant to charge a lot more. Okay, but... so that... Yeah. <laughs> right. So that 50 and 150 for a total of two. Thank you. Um, also... Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Do you make plant pots? Or flower beds? Could you do that? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay. I used to be a gardener. Hmm. All right. Uh, Sarah was asking if that was something you could do, so I'll let her know. 
which probably have something for you. Okay. Uh, how many and how big? I don't know, and I don't know. I think uh, she was well, just sussing um, out if it was a possibility. Whenever she gets that big, it up. Yep. I'll uh, let her know. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll uh, write mm -hmm. something on a piece of paper and leave it in there for you and your carving friend to. Yep. Thanks, well, Mark. I'm available at the moment. What's going on? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, I'm available at the moment. Do you need me? No, no. No. Just um, putting hmm. in orders and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your um, is your party right. happening tonight or is it tomorrow? It's tonight. It's my All birthday. Right. Very good. I got that horseshoe ready. Tomorrow is something much more harrowing. <laughs> oh, really? But yeah. Should I... Be worried. I, uh, I, I, mm, not worried. I stake my life on it. I, well, that makes me worried, but okay. Um, <laughs> tonight is down at the pavilion, mm. no? Yeah. All right, I'll, uh, I'll try to be there then. We'll have a feast. Sounds fantastic, mm. actually, after a day like today. All right, I gotta find Sarah and let her know that you can do plant pots. I can walk with you around town, or oh, yeah. I'll catch up with you. See you, Marcus. Mm -hmm. See you. Um, hey, buddy. There you go. Ah, you're not so bad. Sure, that'll work for me. I'll make sure she's okay. Oh, wonderful. Um, in that case, I'll... I can get the other materials myself, obviously. But, um, yes, mm. just uh, deliver it to my shop whenever you have the materials, and I can certainly get to work. Nice. Alright. Three. I mean, I'm... Sorry. Yeah, wait. The fuck did I miss? Right, Shriek. Apparently... Mirandol was dragged in, well not dragged in, escorted, uninjured to the clinic. I was sitting here after you left and I don't know for sure, seeing as what we talked about earlier, but I think I heard a gunshot. I can almost be certain. Has anyone come out yet? Mm -mm. <sighs> they said, and I quote, we will give you back to him, or we will give him back to you when he's safe to move. The fuck does that mean? Hmm. It means he's either gotten shot or beat to shit, and Soma is in there tending to him. Let's just hope he's as good as his job as he's always been. I worry about Tezim, though. <sighs> the problem is why? I. You said he was Did waiting outside. Did you see him go in? Did you know. see him go in? No, but you said he was waiting Jensen. outside, and then we. With Jensen, yes, <clears throat> they went. Ugh. Fuck. Turns out Marcus can do flower beds. Hello, Basil, Lily. Say one more time. Uh, Marcus can do flower beds. By the way, you just need to work out the details with him. Thank you. Mm. 
Are you two all right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Just worried because being told that Soma's in here too, and it's a lockdown, definitely does not bode well. Hmm. And has anyone seen Tazim by any chance? Nope. Nope. Oh, any of the blacksmiths. Any of the blacksmiths, I guess. Run at the moment, sorry. Ah, uh, that's fine. I'm looking to purchase some metal, but oh well. Maybe I can find them later. I'm sure they'll be back <sighs> later. Oh, one can hope. Uh, so, how's your old day going, I suppose? Uh, pretty better than mine? <laughs> I can't complain. It's better than most, I suppose. Yeah. This worries me, it shouldn't be taking this long. They're staying to uh, the sparsely area. He is fine. He's gotten a potion. What happened to him? What? What happened? They won't say. Well, if he went in fine. That's shot. for damn sure. Probably that then. I'm gonna post up. Hmm. Keep I'm a couple of people having there. eyes sort of on the area. Visible by them. Understood. Yeah. Um. <sighs> yeah. They want this area to disperse, though, is what they said, so. <clears throat> you two having a good day? <sighs> 
trying to. <laughs> we started off with good money. I almost got mugged. You know, it's a day and a half. Yes. Bloody hell. Muggers. <clears throat> They were nothing though, just miscreants with tiny weapons. Why do you guys always get into trouble? You saved my life. I just walked down the wrong yeah. way. I didn't realize I had taken a stone stopper's alley. Was not expecting three men to crowd around me asking for my coin. Bold. Very bold. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to be bold. I was there after all. It was there they were too bold, I think. Dumb bastards. I saw your weapons. If it wasn't for you being there, I probably would have gotten very hurt. Perhaps, but they would have all died later. Only one had to die this time around. Thank God for death. Sharif. Absolutely. If you see Morden, can you let me know? Sure. I need to find that stunty little bastard. He's good at hiding. <laughs> it's because you're so tall and he's so short. He's actually standing right in front of you, but you just look over his head. Was a jest. Oh, he's small. <laughs> mm. Um. Indeed. Hold on. Uh, I can't wait to spend all of my money on another expedition. But I'm glad you're okay. You didn't come to the bathhouse two nights ago, how you said, and I didn't see you all day yesterday. <laughs> I was getting worried, but then I saw you on the horse today, so obviously you're fine. Oh, uh, you saw that. <sighs> it was really cute. <laughs> you yeah, know, I was, I was going for dashing, you know? More, more dashing than cute, but... I suppose I can oh, settle too for far cute. away for it to be dash, and you'll have to show me again. I, I can do that, yeah. Once I actually learn how to ride that fucking thing, I'll be, I'll be super dashing. Can't wait to see it. Me too. Maybe after you learn to ride that thing, someone can learn to ride yeah. you. Sorry, that was low hanging fruit. I'm. Quite the untamable stallion, though. That doesn't hurt to try. But what about <clears> anyone else who's in Haven't there? been tamed yet. Yeah, that's the key word. We speak of best friends' house. What about the other in there? Are you challenging a Bjorning? No, most certainly not, Lady Sif. I know when I have met my match. Um, the last person right. that challenged you, you broke them. Exactly. That's right. Should we make like the unbreakable? The bathhouse. And sift the unstoppable. What happens when an unstoppable object meets an unbreakable force? <laughs> or whatever. Good question. What was that? Mm -hmm. No, not like that. Oh. That'd be but interesting true, I will to challenge see. You as well, I wouldn't mind sparring. Torty. Sure. Hey. Come and see. Now, um, but... I'm trying to distract myself from the tension, so I'm like thinking business right now. Uh, so yeah, 
Hey. Come and sit. I need a lot of uh, iron miscellaneouses, like little buckles and stuff, you know? Right. Uh, um, we're a little low on iron right now, but I could do my best to accommodate. Sure. I, all I need is at least two of them. Oh, wait. No, fuck. I'm going to need at least four of them soon, so aren't I? Yeah, I am. Fuck. Uh, how much will four small miscellaneous be? Perhaps we can talk to Nozes and have a youth match between the two of us. Maths. It's like 80 each, right? Yeah. Alright, so it's 160 and then it's... Uh, Two, uh, three, three, twelve. No, three, three, twenty. Is that right? We'll call it three. How about that? <sighs> Easy. There you go. Also, do I still owe you the two leather straps? I think I do. We we uh we handled it. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> You see, there's Busy other people in there that weren't Vesrid, that didn't say anything about it. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Here's Vesrid, right? he's right there behind him. I guess I'll go medium aged, just I don't bleed for eternity. Tree, as you come around to brace his other shoulder, you see the exit wound in his back. You know what that is. Sorry for the lack of a pickup. No, understandable mm. now. Is the front door unlocked? I'll go get it. <laughs> Just to see was key. Oh, there you go. The crate downstairs. Is everything all right? In the alchemist uh, shop. Let's get him inside first. I'm sure he'll explain. Okay, sure. Thanks for helping him out. Gordon, does he look like he's just been shot? Thank you, sir. Here would be fun. Is he going to be all right? <clears throat> One way to find out. Don't let anyone else in except for maybe Morden. Why don't you don't need a whole fucking peanut gallery here? Thank you. No, I just want. I can I can leave. I just want to make sure he was okay. That's all. Yeah, so much. So much did. Okay. This oh, job. Good. Oh, and don't worry about it. We just walked back. We were fine. There was no works, no sign of anything. We stuck to the woods. Coming back. Right. Uh, it's sir, extra right. Right. Shriek. Is he alright? Shriek. Keep. Thank you. He's mending, but he's alright. I dropped off all his weapons and his armor and and. Oh, all uh, right. To the fuck push. happened? Sorry to ask at all since I left you. What here, happened? It wasn't a round trip, it would just be 50 copies of the Okay. The fucking Imperial yeah. garrison yeah. happened. Thank you. Right, but why? Carter's <sighs> killed. Okay. I took Vezrin away and started oh, trying right, to torture right. him with the fucking bone saws that the surgeons have. Because they what wanted the to fuck? know about his connection to the Major. Vezrin apparently let slip something about knowing and wanted to help. <clears throat> of course. I heard him crying out their, through the upstairs window. Uh, their rational action was to drag him to the top of the clinic and stop beating answers out of him. It's an idea know what to do. It sounded bad. We snuck in, got to the third floor. Tried to get him out, it went miserably wrong. 
Luckily, some imperial noble. Never met the boy before in my life. Apparently had us released. It must have been Ziegler then. He's the only one I can think of. Uh, he's been working closely with Tang and uh, I think Vezrin too. I think he's somehow related to the Major, I think. What a Vezrin now. I don't know what the way. Worst about him. Vezrin's alright. They released mm -hmm. him. Thanks to this Ziegler. Well, that's good. But they immediately want to pin it all on him because he's an elf. Everything's fine now. Everything's quiet. Except there's a bad taste in the air now. Everyone's alive, that's good enough for me. Hmm. I guess you're right about me, Arn. I guess I am naive when it comes to them. No. No. I've long since understood it's the people who pull the strings. <sighs> you could hear it in the sergeant's voice, he's afraid. Hmm. <sighs> Too much of this is ringing eerily similar. If only we could topple the Inquisition, that would be the only way to kill that poisonous. That's infected uh, humans. I have a question, Tazim. Uh, I don't know about the Inquisition, thoughts. but there's one I'd love to kill. What is it? Her issue that happened with Viseran, the timely intervention, and now this. Some. Someone is pulling the strings in this, but who? I don't think anyone pulled these strings, Morden. They're a bunch of young soldiers who lost their officer. The only others in command is one young lieutenant and one newly minted captain. Who's now in charge of it several hundred men. Eerily similar to a set of brothers who just lost their father, taking their anger out on a town. I don't know, man. I don't know. I cannot really think straight at the moment. I don't blame you, given that. Did you try to storm the place or something? Is that what happened? Four men with rifles watching a hallway. We knew it was doomed from the start, but what do we do? Let Vezrin get bone sawed? I would have joined you in that had I known it was happening. I'm afraid if too many people came, it would look like a hostile takeover. Mm. I wasn't able to... Alright. ...stop him from mutilating him back in Edwick. Got to do something here. It's alright. Uh, Everything's alright yeah. currently. I found out those stones for you. I brought them back. Oh no, he died. <sighs> I was hoping everyone would get along, even for just one day. Mm. <laughs> mm. Anyways, uh, I was going to tell him more than I found out those stones um, that he found at the Orkdale. They're just uncommon, regular like gemstones. Uh, I used the one ruby that he gave me to trade for another stone that I can use for out there in the woods. Um, but the other one's an amethyst and a, a, like a quartz opal-like uncommon, but it's not maybe just a couple it's silver. Right, it's I'm not really money. nothing extravagant. Uh, sure, man. But feel, feel better. <sighs> At least it helped me get what I needed. It helped me get the stone that I needed. Thank you, Jensen. 
You need anything from me? I need you to learn. Like, Thanks, man. He's always got me. I know I've always got him. Good. <laughs> always. But as of right now. No. All right. Go about your day, my boy. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Chat. Warden, I guess you could sell it for a couple of coin, I guess. Uh, a couple of silver for y'all. Sure. Good. I've already got the I've already got the stone that I got uh, in the grove that I needed, and that rock that I traded for the ruby will help as the head for the golem. I just need to find the other boulders, which is going to take time. If I can build that and get it operational, that'll at least have something on. That would help us in the woods. Protect us. And then with your son finishing the armaments for the wood elves that are out there. It'll help for a great deal. So if y'all are ever out there in the forest, y'all have allies out there. Well, don't know if you know many search should be done soon. You still gonna? Is it okay if I could see your party? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to. Now that Lisa's back, um, we wanted to bring her some of the food and stuff. She's recovering. Sure, uh, we're a great feast. Mm -hmm. I just I wanted start to let you. Everything and everyone over to the pavilion. Okay, I did want to inform you though. It looks like she had been running. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe for a day and a half, two days from Risa, because she's got a lot of cuts on her, and all she could eat better was the name Risa. Risa. Mm. It's been chasing her all over the woods. Oh, gosh. Poor girl. Dear yeah, Morden, I want to return this to you. So this amethyst is just an uncommon gemstone, so it can sell for a couple of silver, you'll have to get it appraised. And then this one's oh, a, uh, they, it said it was like a quartz opal, so it's a couple of silver as well. The ruby one was a little bit more valuable to the stone trader. Probably have it in the warehouse. And uh, I was able to trade for the golden headstone <laughs> that I needed, so it worked Probably out. Down there. As long as it Put your money where your mouth is. Somewhere in the back of your mind, Kyla. Memories. Something frozen in time. You have changed. You've grown. You have altered, but memories are something that are relative to yourself and they are frozen in time. They can hurt as much as they can heal, but as the sun begins to set over the seas of Gradia, you hope that by calling upon this memory, can not only test yourself tonight but learn something as well
Right. Best we do this without any anyone watching, yes? <clears throat> Sorry, Mr. Lily. Or did you want to be left alone? <sighs> I need to... I was wondering if you were okay. Yeah, I need to de-stress a little bit. Meditate. Okay. Well, we'll be on the beach if you are done being alone at some mm. point. I might swing by. It sounds nice. A swish and a flourish, and she's gone, walking back down the beach. She's already out of eyesight before she leaves eyesight, because you are focused now. Your mind hardens and sharpens into place. You see in front of you something frozen in time. Something you have summoned through a force of will to manifest in front of you and you alone. You will see now whether you have grown or not. <sighs> it's been a while. Quickly, deftly, you can feel the force, feel the weight behind it. It's as real as it can possibly be. It's fast, accurate, nimble, very much like yourself. You wonder how you'll gain an edge. More exchanges narrowly dodged. A swift riposte, however, you realize that before you would have been struck by that attack, but training in the years since has enabled you to deflect it. <sighs> Heavy blows rain down from above. As weighty as the real thing upon your blade, you can feel it almost singing, almost ringing with every strike. Is it the memory or is it the metal? Light Come on attacks now. now. <laughs> Heavy blows rain down. Upon the memory, upon the pain, upon the knowledge, upon the remembrance of everything, everything that made Tarek who he was. Swift dodge and an amazing riposte finally gets one strike through. A new move, something you know he would never know, something he could never anticipate. Finally catching him. You back off, your heart thumping in your chest with the exertion, the speed, the focus. It's all there. 
You both walk off the exertion, panting, pushing yourself to your limit. You wouldn't want to disappoint yourself in front of home, would you? You too bad, Kyla. Another memory. Another time, another place. Sweat beginning to pour off your body. Throw the shirt aside. Cool sea breeze blows in. And you feel in this moment that you are here, here and now, focused, honed like the blade in front of you. The effort that has gone into crafting this thing is a pale reflection of the effort that has gone into crafting yourself. Not just for this moment, but for the future. Show me what you can do. Faster now. More insistent. He's not playing anymore. You can tell. He grasps for the blade, knocking you across your face. It hurts. You need to be faster. Killed me. I would never. I'm dead. Look at me. <laughs> it is as I have. Oh shit. I'm dead. You killed me, bitch. Everything's frozen. <laughs> you monster, Tarek. The memory becomes. The memory becomes too much to bear. <laughs> Of all the fucking times, it's been chill all day.
<laughs> the right hook. I wasn't expecting the right hook. Fuck, you hit me with a right hook from fucking nowhere. Kyler, the strike that you felt stings. You feel up to your face, the throbbing pain there, and pull your gloved hand away, instinctively taking a look at it. It's blood. This is real as real as can be your limbs feel a little heavy and you have felt the weight behind his blade you know however of course if you let go of this if you let go of the reality of this situation of the focus you have exerted to brought this this thing into being it will dissipate as easy as it was brought about it's not the point the weight behind his blade isn't the weight of a warrior or any iron or steel. It's the weight of nostalgia. <sighs> Ready? To prepare to clash one more time. Always. Another exchange, metal on metal. The strikes more measured this time. As the score is one and one, each warrior is more careful now. Slightly less brazen, but no less insistent. Speeding up now. Wild swings from Kyler are deftly dodged by Tarek. He's as fast as he ever was. Echo, is it a distraction? <laughs> Not sure. They part a moment to catch their breath, eyeing each other up. The next exchange will determine everything. Tarek drops his blade for a moment, staring into your eyes, no, into your soul. So he is able to react in time and deflect your attack. Batting the sword out of the way again and again, he's able to replace it just in time. Switching between styles, one-handed, two-handed, you know that you will have to do something new, something unique, something that he would never expect. You draw your dagger and prepare to employ a new style. Won't be throwing sand this time. No need for tricks like that anymore. You hear that? He doesn't want to use tricks anymore. You were right. He's grown. You. Batting the blade out of the way and following up with a dagger, you continue to deliver a hailstorm of blows against Carrick. He's able to keep up just barely, but you can tell he's being pushed back. 
with a look of surprise in his eyes, a widened look, and finally, trapping the blade, you're able to get in close. Sweeps the leg. Sweeping the leg, you're able to drop him down and hold the blade to his back. You draw away. Oh, come on now, fun's done. How's that? You can see that Tarek regards you with a look of amused surprise, but perhaps it's approval after everything that's transpired. Just wondering who you're rooting for. The life of me, I can't figure it out yet. Right. <laughs> I'm counting on you. I won't let you down again. Embrace is real, as real as can be, as real as the sword, as real as the entire experience that was just lived. Inside your own mind, no less, and you know this. And the more that you embrace that, the more that you continue to realize and rationalize that this could have only happened inside your mind, it fades fades from reality it fades from everything you know that the experience that just occurred was a product of the past and the past alone and that while you can dwell in the past you can only act in the present Fading as the sunset. shirt slung over your shoulder, looking out over the horizon one last time as the sun begins to dip under the endless blue that waits beyond somewhere past this horizon is an unknown land, but also somewhere past this horizon you know, Astagon. And beyond that, Giwen. The future is there for you to grasp. And after confronting the past, you feel all the more prepared to grasp it.
city near the desert, and I invited them to come out to the beach, so I'm hopefully he'll see. I see. For a little while. Oh. He is drenched in sweat. What did you do? Just some light training. Light training, huh? After that, cold soak in the ocean will probably help too. Doesn't sound so Pull bad. you down. I'll even put my feet in. Having a good evening? Um, hearing about your father. <sighs> and hearing what happened. No, I am not. Imperials, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank goodness it's cold. It's nice, actually. Well, you just did some training. Of course it's going to be nice. <sighs> I guess next time we'll have to train with him. I guess so. A little oh, bit extracurricular activities. Oh. I'm sure I could teach you two a thing or two. Oh, is that so? I'm sure I can teach you a thing or two too. <laughs> I am old okay. after all. Let's just get this over with. More experience <laughs> that way. <laughs> Oh, That's ballsy. I cannot do that. That is very ballsy. Oh. Yes. Oh, Don't worry. It's do as bad as you think. Yeah, but it's over. <gasps> oh, that is cold. That is so cold. Keep your body in, or else the <gasps> wind's gonna make it colder. I'm not going any. I'm not going back in. Isn't this like supposed oh. to be good for the skin or something? It's supposed to be. Yes, salt water is very good for your skin. <sighs> but I still well, have a. this, we could go to the bathhouse and get wine. To the bathhouse. That's true. If you want, this is my offer to you and to Zim. Cold, cold. I can bring some bath water over and I can wash him down. If, if need be. He's still around, I'm sure he wouldn't mind that. <sighs> he shouldn't be moving. If you mean if he's still awake, then yes. Yeah. This is... So I came back with the gas burner. Come on in, the water's freezing. <gasps> okay, then. Soma, you should come in here. <laughs> Please. If I move, I will freeze so much more than I already am. <gasps> Don't worry, you, you trained me to take it. Let's <laughs> try oh, that. <laughs> it's, right, it's, it's a good she's, thing she's quick some tongued. customers aren't uh, no, she's doing good. I'm very proud of her. She's learning a lot. I'm very, very proud of her. She is. <sighs> this is really nice, actually. I'm so tempted to just like, isn't it? I'm going. You know what I am going to sit. Excuse me as I grab my chair. <laughs> I was just on the ground for too long. I must sit in chair. <sighs> I haven't trained that hard in a while. Was it needed? Definitely. Not just mentally. <laughs> Easing out the uh, tension. It's nice. Mm, I see. Getting out of frustrations and all that. 
It's been a... It's been a day. I can agree with you on that one. Mm. I definitely can. Oh, you missed it. I have a new dress to wear for with those nobles come in. You have a new dress. It's just for nobles and if I have any parties that I have to do. It's actually the same shade as the one Miss Lily used to wear. Ah. Surprisingly enough, purple and red look really nice together. Interesting. Who would have thought? He said no? He doesn't want to join us out here? He said he wanted to watch the sunset on the beach. He said he may come in. Sounds like the words of he a coward. May. You should come in! Come on! Yeah! Oh, yay! There he goes! Take it off! Yeah, I guess I need to learn more. <laughs> you got him to get in at me. As uh, I believe your father went whoosh <laughs> against him. Yes. For Correct. Need say anything. Whoosh. <laughs> that is not the case. I will say though, I would like some arguments from him from time to time. Maybe jealousy even. He's too kind of a man. I am not used to this. You're not used to having a kind man. I'm not. That must be really hard for you. <laughs> oh no, he's being nice to me. Whatever shall I do? Oh no, he's... Taking off his shirt. Oh no, whatever will I do? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Will he go all the way? Will he be in his boxers? Or is he staying in his pants? <gasps> he went all the way! Oh, He's putting man. on a show. Here he, he comes, it's Mr. Soma! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> welcome. Ah, oh, welcome. Thanks for the welcome. As I... <laughs> Fucking a moment, a moment, a moment, a moment. It's acting fucking. I told Wait, you what it? you had to do. Hey. Hey, there he goes. He can swim. There I am. Oh, I can. <laughs> Just. Oh, shit. You doing okay, Soma? As long as everyone else is doing all right, I should be fine. I'm doing terrible, but this isn't too bad. It's the little things. Well, hopefully we can make your night better. Well, you're well on your way. He's doing really good. I'm, She's I'm just doing not, really I'm well, just not yeah. Gonna this. <clears throat> you're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> doing well with what? She's a natural, too. <laughs> I'm confused. You basically... <laughs> my volume nearly... is very high and I apparently went up and down <laughs> and scared myself to splashing. I thought you leaned too far backwards. Was... <laughs> no, it was, I did because the sound of the splashing of the water scared me so bad. It was it was really loud. Like I, I, I have a clip of me freaking out with it. It's fine. Um, I forgot what I was saying now because I got so freaked out. <laughs> I 
I got my train of thought. Oh, good heavens. You were saying something and I got confused. Right, you're a natural at what I do. Is what I'm saying. Um, I, I wouldn't call me a natural. You are. Yeah, let's, um, call that, to the zero clients I've taken. Yeah, natural, just, just take, just take it as that. Just some men are stupid. I mean, am, am I wrong, though? I mean, look at her. She's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. She walks around all day. I'm an example of a stupid man. <laughs> Aren't you a fucking doctor? Is that so? Aren't you supposed to be smart? Now, now, I fucking... Now, 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 look here. You, you do I'm have a degree, don't you? Life. Yes, you yes, didn't, I fucking do. You didn't just, like, just playing around. you didn't just order one via carrier pigeon, did you? Check those mail. No, it's fine. Soma? No, Soma? I've never done something like you that didn't in my life. fill out a form and give him 50 did, copper and you have a di diploma of fucking medical science. Are you a real doctor? Soma? I need to see your credentials before you work <laughs> on me again. Oh, no. <laughs> He's returning to the sea. Come back to shock shot there. <laughs> Don't go too I far. Know, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm coming back. No, Shuddy, the next time I operate on you, I'll tell you that I've lost my degree. How about that? <laughs> no. Well, honestly, if you if you <laughs> no, save me again, I can't complain, I guess. So I lost my degree, and I shoved and I shoved the, the clamps up someone's ass. Oh. That's what I'll say. How much do you charge for that? Just curious, asking for a friend. Oh, no, shit, bitch, that's free. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. Is that why I needed to repair them? It's a very steely <laughs> feeling. Is that is that why you brought them to me in tatters? Well, the bone saw. Oh goodness, is <laughs> maybe as the as the story went to state from the other time of which uh, that happened. Yeah. Mm. Basil, you we should all be remember worried. what happened to that man's ball. Should be worried. Why? You heard the shit he's talking about? I didn't hear the story. Oh no, you've never really heard of it, have you? I don't know what you're talking about either. Kind of what? Oh no. I Basil, guess this I is the story you're going to have to tell. Story. <clears throat> yeah, no. You're going I... to have to. So. The doctor <laughs> love here is going to talk. Listen carefully. What a doctor love. Thank you.